Evidently, a lot of people in Maine are having second thoughts about adopting a pet. In fact, the sheer number of people surrendering their pets in Maine has caught animal shelters off guard. The shelters in Bangor and Holton say they're at maximum capacity. And as New Center Maine's Sam Olson reports, they say it's getting worse with each passing day. It started with the pandemic, with the beginning of COVID, and uh, has just never sort of cooled off. Maine animal shelters are overcrowded with pets. Pets people took home and then brought back. Recently, people surrendered so many that shelters like Bangor's Humane Society is full and doesn't have the room for any more. When we say we're full, that means that the back end where all of the medical care is happening uh, is, is completely full. Catherine Ravenscraft says they keep seeing people surrender their pets because of post-pandemic life changes. People who are changing their work situations, it's folks who got animals during the pandemic and now that they're back to work, they realize they can't care for them. So they bring them here. Another part of the equation, waiting for medical care from overrun vets. They are drowning in their own practices right now. Many animals need that medical care before they can be adopted. <coughs> Up in Holton, the Humane Society manager says they're at max capacity too. And still, people are calling and showing up, wanting to surrender their pets. And other shelters that usually help them with overflow are maxed out also. And when they're full and we're full, we're at a loss of what to, to do. The shelter has 40 animals, nearly 40 on the wait list, while many are being fostered by Holton Humane Society board members. We can't get them out the door fast enough before we get calls for two, four, six more to come in. An issue shelters are having across the state. Sam Olson, News Center, Maine. And Ravenscraft says Bangor's Humane Society sees nearly 100 people per week wanting to adopt, but the backup at vet offices limits the rate at which pets are ready for adoption. And she says if you want to help the shelters, donations and volunteers are always welcome.